What's happening? Well, we had a motions hearing on Monday, and there's some very disconcerting things that happened in that that hearing. Number one, um, they made it obvious that they will go to any length to convict, convict Van. And they put a CID agent on the stand who very proudly admitted to reaching out to a regional um, warlord who Tell ties that. to the Taliban to um, come up with family witnesses, family of the Taliban lawmaker that Matt lawfully engaged in, in a, um, a sure. targeted yeah. way, right? And so that was very disconcerting, plus the fact that they're negotiating with terrorists. Um, President Trump has broken off all negotiations with the Taliban in Afghanistan, and they're behind his back negotiating with It's them. hard to know who people are in Afghanistan, and you guys know that, the, you don't even know that necessarily the people that they talk to in Afghanistan right. are even related to the bomb They maker. wanted to post them, but they didn't ask them for any ID, um, no pictures of relationships with the Taliban bomb maker. Um, they're just accepting who they are by what the, the word is of the Taliban. Just taking the word of the Taliban. Duncan, you followed cases like this. Uh, <laughs> what do you make of what the prosecution's doing to Matt Goldstein? It's crazy. You know, number one, this is Barack Obama's U.S. Army. This... The leadership in the army right now, especially these lawyers, these are holdovers from the Barack Obama administration. Goldstein got in trouble in the Obama administration. I mean, to have the U.S. Army send people to Afghanistan to work with the Taliban to try to get the Taliban to testify against the U.S. Special Forces guy. I mean, this, this is nuts. This, uh, this should not be happening. At, at all. And this is going to take President Trump doing something about this and, and just calling this off and looking at the army prosecutors and lawyers and how they abused the system to put guys like Matt in, in jail or possibly the death penalty. I mean, this is, this is crazy. And it's, it's going to take the intervention of the new commander in chief, which the army bureaucrats don't realize yet is not the old commander in chief that mm -hmm. wasn't very good we have a new one and hopefully he does something about this prosecution off the rails well we reached out to the army for a statement on this here's what they had to say they said trials involve a number of procedural requirements and u.s army special operations command will continue to comply with all the rules and evidence and procedures as well as all applicable law and regulation usasoc does not litigate cases in the media as such usasoc will present the facts concerning this court martial as with every court martial in a courtroom major goldstein continues to have access to legal counsel just as every other soldier and continues to be presumed innocent. Do you believe them, Nancy? No. They want to. They had a motion on Monday to hide the fact that the minimum mandatory sentence for premeditated murder is life in prison. They don't want that set in court. Why are they? Why are they hiding the truth? Why are they hiding the identity of these witnesses? Why are they negotiating with the Taliban behind the president's back? That's what Nancy, we it feels know. like they're dragging this out. You, you, your sense and the legal team feels like they're trying to prolong this case as long as possible. Why? Pushing it out, pushing out. I think they are hopeful that there's a new POTUS, there's a, there's a new president of the United States. They're hopeful that on election day, America will vote for somebody else who's not as friendly to the warfighter. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Duncan, we only have a couple seconds left. Uh, last word on this on this subject. It, the, uh, the new commander-in-chief is a new sheriff in town, and he, he needs to do something about this. Matt de deserves better than what the government's doing to him right now. The, the, have, having been privy to some of the information in this case, it is unbelievable what our government is doing to a guy who fought on behalf of all of us.